<laughs> okay, now look, look. If he can't, if I can't pull down like this, this, this is a classic case of hypermobility of the thoracic spine, right? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. 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 It's really, you know, it's not moving, right? And also, when I try and pull down, look at how, look at how prominent his ribs get, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So there's a tremendous amount of the lats, the lats are doing something, right? The thoracic spine is, is immobile. So this is, this is a, you know, this is a classic case here. Of, actually, it's both sides. This one's a little worse than this one, but both sides are not good, right? Okay. So this leads us into what one muscle in the upper body would be most be mainly responsible for hypermobility of the thoracic spine. Pec, the pecs? Internal? Which pec? Pec minor. minor. Pec minor is the correct answer. You never see this, do you? Oh my gosh. You'll never see people like that, right? Right, Ashley? No. You never see that. <laughs> Look in the mirror, Ashley. <laughs> we were talking about Ashley yesterday with her pec minors, yeah. So, look at him. Would you say that his, his shoulders are rolled in? No. Huh? It's bit? not terrible, no. though. Un petit it's even worse. Right? <laughs> so, if I put my hands in, I shouldn't be able to get my hands under there like yeah. that, right? Mm -hmm. his, his shoulders are rolled in, okay? We want, his shoulders should look like this, right? When his hands are in his stomach, his shoulders should be back like this. His shoulders are popping up like that, okay? Mm -hmm. So once you got this, how's your thoracic mobility doing? Gone. Gone. Okay? So this is a classic case of the pec minor going crazy here. Alright? So let's fire up the pec minor. So watch, here's the test for the pec minor. Okay? Roll your shoulder. Look, look, look. Just keep your hand here, just roll your shoulder. Here. Now. Again, start screaming and yelling if you find a weak pec minor today. Okay? Uh -huh. Hardly ever see that. All right. So pec minor. Okay. Now, what could the pec minor be inhibiting in the upper body? Oh my gosh. Almost anything, right? Okay. But it can't go back this way, can it? All right. So let's start with the function. Let's see if it's inhibiting the function. Okay. So push your arm down. Not so good. Okay. Now, let's watch what happens, okay? We're gonna do an active therapy localization, okay? Roll your shoulder in, and now push your arm down. Wow. Ooh, strong. But he's Not using, he's using his obliques. He's using all kinds of yeah. stuff. I'm just yeah. trying to create a therapy localization, okay? Now, roll your shoulder back into the table, okay? So your scapula is touching the table, okay? Bye-bye. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> Right now. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Classic case, right? Mm -hmm. This is a classic. This is a good one to see for thoracic hypermobility. Okay. All right. So clearly we have to release the pec minor. Right? Okay. So, so there are a lot of you, you guys may have your own special favorite way of releasing the pec minor. This is mine. Put, put your hand here so you can relax. For those of you that don't do manual therapy, there's some good stretches in the door for this one. I like this one. Have your arm at a right angle into the door jam or something oh, yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Lean forward, twist your body, open your hand that way. That's a good one. That gets it. I like that one. How are we doing in here? No, it sucks. No, it sucks. <laughs> sucks. Sucks will work. All right. So let's push down here where I'm touching there. Oh, yeah. That works. Okay. So somebody want to put their finger right here and feel? Well, you're the assistant, not you. Get, get, get. <laughs> Student, who wants to feel? A muscle popping out that shouldn't be popping out when I'm asking you to do this. All right? You feel that guy firing? Push deep. Good. 
go pet minus minor. You gotta be under here. Yeah, that's it. Get your thumb in here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, great. It's firing when it shouldn't be firing, right? So when you're when you're doing this, should your pec minor be firing? Feel it on yourselves. Go ahead. Go into arm. Go put your humerus in flexion. What should your pec minor be doing? Stretching or contracting? Stretching. 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 So if you're going like this and your pec minor is contracting, is that a good thing? No. Trouble. No, that's trouble. So that creates the thoracic hypomobility. Right? Yeah. So we got to do a little release in here. Tell me when I got the right spot. Yeah. That'd be it. Yeah. Fine anywhere. How about there? Yeah. <laughs> and you don't want. Where's Dominic? You don't want Dominic touching any spot. I can tell you that. Right now. <laughs> I know where he'll go. It'll be in your, oh, it'll be in your peck, but not where you want it. I can tell you that. <laughs> right, Todd? Hey. <laughs> hey, David. He's um, his ribs are popping up because he's trading lumbar extension for thoracic extension. Yeah. Okay, just checking. Thank you. Yeah, he is. That is correct. Okay. That creates a, that creates a whole chain of problems with this, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, push down here again. Okay, that's a little better. Now let's challenge it. I'm going to have you roll your shoulder in here. Very good. Go into flexion. Press down. Okay. So that's better. Now let's see if we get a change. Okay, I don't expect a lot. That's better. So his left one is better than his right one now. Okay. And his left one was worse than his right one. So we did get a good change. Okay? 